Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Today we're looking at some more ammo for our ammo stockpiling series in preparation for the July 1st ammo law that's coming into effect here in California. This time around we're going to be looking at some HD ammunition, otherwise known as home defense ammunition. So we have a little bit of a variety here, so let's go ahead and dive right into it and look at the different types of HD ammunition that I picked up recently. Alrighty, so first up is Underwood 450 Bushmaster. And there's the box that it comes in there. And as you can see, 450 Bushmaster, 220 grain, Extreme Hunter, 2385 feet per second. Now this ammunition here, I was unfortunately not able to get online, so I actually had to get it from my local gun store. And the price for 20 rounds was $75 a box. However, I did get a little bit of a discount, not a huge discount. Uh, I did get a, le a little, but this stuff is expensive. Again, we're looking at the Underwood 450 Bushmaster 220 grain Extreme Hunter. Again, the muzzle velocity is 2385 FPS and the energy is 2779 foot-pounds. From people who've actually used this for hunting stuff, they say it is definitely a hard hitting round and it does take down the intended target. Alrighty, now we're taking a close up at this nice looking Underwood round here, 220 grains Extreme Hunter. Alrighty, now we're looking at some Hornady Critical Duty. This guy right here, we have a box of 20 rounds. And this is 40 SW, 175 grain flex lock. It has a muzzle velocity of 1010 FPS and an energy of 396 foot pounds. And again, this was a mixed order of ammunition. That's why there's some more uh, boxes of the same kind than others. And then there's some that are just a single box like this one, for instance, here. But there you go. The 40. Hornady Critical Duty 175 grain flex lock. You can see the H right there for Hornady. Alrighty, now we're looking at some Underwood again, but this time we have the Underwood 40 SW. This is a 140 grain extreme penetrator. It has a muzzle velocity of 1200 FPS and energy of 440 foot pounds. And then there's the bullet right there, as you guys can see. Has the same design as the 450 Bushmaster, which uh, most Underwood, I believe, I haven't seen all Underwood, but I'm pretty sure most of them have the exact same uh, bullet shape. Very nice looking around. Alrighty, now we're looking at some Gold Dot, uh, again, 40 SW, 180 grain, GDHP, so short barrel hollow point, muzzle velocity of 950 FPS, and an energy of 361 foot-pounds. Now you guys are seeing a few different uh, 40s. That's because I uh, got a I got a uh, 40 several months ago. I haven't even taken it out yet, but I didn't have very much uh, ammunition either for range or home defense, especially home defense. I've definitely built up my uh, range and training ammo, but I'm working on building up that uh, home defense ammunition for it. And there you go. You guys can see. It's the hollow point. This one looks a little bit different than some, as you can see, a lot deeper of a of a pocket there on this bullet. Spare 40 SW. And then this is the box here for the gold dot. As you guys can see, it's a box of 20. And again, it's the 40 SW 180 grain GD HP, which they use for gold dot hollow point. Uh, and it's for short barrel hollow point as well. So if you have the uh, shorter um, the shorter barrel on your handgun instead of a full length barrel. Alrighty, and now we're looking at some uh, Sig Saucer Elite Performance. Again, 40 SW. Uh, this is the uh, Sig V Crown. It's 180 grain V Crown JHP. Muzzle velocity of 985 FPS and an energy of 388 foot pounds. There's a box. We got a box of 20 of it. There's the bullet itself. As you can see, this one looks a little bit different than the uh, gold dot. Sig Saucer, though, does make uh, good ammunition, that's for sure. But so does Gold Dot as well. Alrighty, now we're looking again at some more uh, Hornady Critical Defense. Um, this one is a 165 grain FTX, so flex tip expanding, a little bit different than the other one. Muzzle velocity of 1175 FPS and an energy of 506 foot-pounds. And there's the box right there. Again... 40SW, 165 grain, FTX. 
and the bullet right there as well. This one doesn't have an H though on it. Disappointing. Alrighty, and our final ammunition here is going to be the Federal Premium. This is the Law Enforcement Tactical Rifle Urban. It's a 168 grain tactical ballistic tip. It has a muzzle velocity of 2650 FPS and an energy of 2619 foot-pounds. Uh, this ammo is built to military specifications. This ammo is brass, case, box primed, and non-corrosive. I like this ammunition. I've had the ability to uh, fire it um, several times before and I definitely like and approve of the performance that I get from this ammunition. If you guys have personally used this or have any personal experience with it, feel free to chime in and let me know what your experience was, whether if it was good experience or bad experience. We have a total of five boxes again, so each one 20, so we have a total of 100 rounds. And then this is the one right here, 168 grain. You have your ballistic tip right here. I love the blue color on it. I, I'm a fan of that. I I like it. I mean, even if I didn't like the, the bullet, I think I would just like it just because of the blue tip. Alrighty, and that was our final ammunition for our home defense. Um, thank you guys for stopping by checking out this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Look forward to more ammo stockpiling videos coming. Um, also, if you guys um, have any insight on this ammo again, please feel free to uh, leave it. There might be more out there who have used this. Um, I'm thinking of possibly doing uh, ballistic gel testing with this, maybe even some penetration tests just to kind of see how it works. Yes, it's a ballistic tip, but you know, I'm just kind of curious on how it will uh, puncture punch through certain things again thank you guys don't forget to leave any comments suggestions thank you for checking out the video don't forget again to hit that like and subscribe help the channel grow and you guys have a good day